Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you an interesting example when you have a design with two overlapping meshes. At the first view you would think it is a regular diagnostic design, but at a closer look with a 2D cross view it shows two separate meshes. One is the crown design and the other is an underlying prep model. That should not be a bigger issue when you use it as a digital file to adapt crowns. However, when you try to build a model in the model builder, in 3Shape or model creator, it will result in many artifacts and holes in the model. That happens because the two overlaying meshes do not create a watertight mesh and the model creator tries to make one single layout of it. So what can you do if you need to print a model? In this case, I select tooth number 6. Click on Mockup. This feature is only available in ExoCAD 3. Select Printing and scan Digital Waxer. Click OK. Hold down Shift and mark number 11 to copy the information from 6 to the rest of the teeth. I choose Stone Model in the Scan mode and save the order form. Here is a file that I imported and oriented in the correct position to face the occlusal side towards me. The first step is to separate both meshes and save them out as two individual files. Therefore, I go to Expert mode, right-click on the model and select Edit Mesh. I choose Select by click on Surface and click anywhere on the model but not numbers 6 to 11. The selected area should turn orange and leave the crown design mesh beige. Hit Delete on the keyboard, right-click on Save Choose Export Scene to Mesh and save the file to your hard drive. It is essential to choose Use the original coordinate system of scan data to ensure all exported files are in the same XYZ coordinate system. Now go back and undo the deletion of the arch and click on None to unselect the arch and click on the Crown Design Mesh. By deleting the mesh, the underlying prep model will appear. Now we can fix holes, clean up the model, remove areas of the model and save it as a prep model to be able to use it for future designs. By separating the two meshes, you can now decide if you would like to reuse the designed mesh or redesign it entirely. Again, it's important to save the model in the same XYZ coordinate system when you extract or export anything. Click OK to get out of the Edit Mesh mode and select Add Remove Mesh under Tools. In this mode, you can add any additional meshes you like, but for this example I'm choosing Wax Up Scan because I'm not designing or adapting to any design and just need to import the extracted crown design as a separate layer onto the prep model. Because the prep model and crown design were saved in the same XYZ coordinate system, I select Yes, because the mesh is stored in relation to the original scan data, so that the wax up scan is precisely positioned over the prep model. If you like, you can switch to wizard mode to guide you through the following steps, or make changes to the wax up scan. Sometimes minor changes are needed when you want to adjust the overall appearance of the smile design. In this case, I do not change anything and don't cut to the pontix or the proximal contacts. The virtual wax up bottom calculation can take some time, depending on your computer speed. Usually, it only takes a couple of seconds to complete the calculation. Change to Design Model on the final screen and not on I'm done, because that will exit you to the order form screen. The model type Digital Wax Up Model should be pre-selected for you in the Design Model Type selection and you need to change it if you see anything else. Orientate the arch to the model plate and click Next. The next screen might be confusing and you are tempted to click on the model design, but that will lead you to the same orientation mode as before. Therefore, change to Export mode and hover over the Export Model panel on the bottom. Here you select Plateless Model Design and choose the parts you like to include in the printed model. I'm making sure the imported wax up scan is selected and visible on the screen. Click Run and the model should turn green-blue. Now you can add articulator attachments or text 
to identify the model after printing. I am skipping these steps and exit by clicking on wizard mode and click on I am done. I am looking for the new model SDL in the order form by opening the design folder and opening the file in the 3D viewer in 3Shape. The 3D cross section reveals a one piece, no holes and a watertight model that can be easily printed on every 3D printer. I hope you liked this short video and if it was helpful, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell for all future videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.